Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to talk about something new coming to Roblox. I don't know when, probably soon, and that is Roblox emotes, okay? And I'm not kidding, it's quite literally like Fortnite, I I'm going to be honest with you guys, but uh, it's, it's very interesting and I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Um, but all of the information for this video comes from Clone Trooper 1019's Twitter. Um, obviously I don't really know anything about studio or scripting or anything to really enable this because as far as I'm aware it's not enabled in normal games right now. So uh, he posted this tweet saying that this is going to be coming to games soon and he's not a big fan of the choice they made for the UI placement. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But um, something interesting here is that you're actually going to be able to um, you know, turn it off. So it's not like, you know, everybody's going to be forced to have it. So it's not a major thing here. But um, something that he pointed out before I even go into these images, I, I want to also talk about here, right here. Word of advice to the folks who designed this, it would be way cooler if the radio menu showed your avatar animated in 3D. Um, I don't really know what viewport frames are or any of this stuff. But uh, I do know that um, some of the stuff here is going to be very confusing, okay? So um, as you can see in this screenshot right here, you can see, first of all, all of these are different packages. Like, okay, first of all, this eighth one is empty, but I don't really care about that. You can see, this is not the same package as this, or this, or this, or this, so on and so forth. And um, a lot of these with these vague outlines, you can't really tell what's going on for most of them. I can tell number four is a wave, it's pretty obvious. Um, I, I had no clue what six was until somebody replied that this is a laugh, laughing one. I, I didn't even know that. But um, I, I feel like if it actually showed like, you know, a little animation of what it would be, because I feel like the way they have it right now is definitely pretty hard to tell apart. Like I couldn't even really tell half of these from all the other ones. I know this one is like the first dance, I think. I don't know. Um, and then this one is the dance where you're like swinging your arms side to side or whatever. I, I don't know. But um, the whole thing I was talking about before that I said I would get to in regards to its placement. You see, it's actually in the bottom left corner. This is not like a custom thing. I think it's better showcased in this image right here because it, it's more visible here. You can see that it's like a quarter of a circle in the corner here and it has a little, you know, icon of someone dancing. But an interesting thing he pointed out is why is it not on the top bar, you know, with the chat and the backpack, but why is it over here where people, you know, develop stuff here already? Plus, I mean, it, it kind of stands out where I, I feel like it really shouldn't be. I think it really should be somewhere else than just where no other Roblox user interface exists. It just doesn't really make sense to have it put here instead of somewhere like the top bar where they already have a couple things up here and it would make more sense for it to be up there or maybe even just a hotkey, you know, to open it. But I, I think the way it is right now, it's not that good. I, I think they could definitely improve on like the placement of where it is and all, but I don't know, that's just really my thoughts on it, and I think it could really be something cool, especially because there's this unknown eighth spot here. What if, like, this could be, like, an extras button? Like, what if you click this? It's like a little plus, right? And then it brings you to an extra, you know, menu with all the ones that you could buy. And imagine buying emotes on Roblox. I mean, it wouldn't be the craziest idea they've ever tested out, but I think it would be pretty cool, actually, if they, like, allowed you to buy some... <laughs> I can't believe this, but this this would basically just be Fortnite, but just adding like your own little emote that you could buy and I feel like it would be pretty cool. Plus Roblox would make a lot of money off this, so it's definitely something they should consider. But uh, I don't know. Let me know guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time and goodbye.